Hello. Welcome to this really greasy, blurry, low quality shit video. How are we? So I oh I literally just uploaded um the hallucination video like today, like earlier today. And I got really positive response. I got like three people writing to me. And like one comment and like people being like oh my god yeah blah blah and actually when i started my youtube like people really really wanted me to do um mental health stuff so i was like let's keep doing that this i can't look at this hair i'm really really not clean and i need to wash myself and i just don't want to so mm -hmm. deal with it so i thought i would because i didn't even really go in depth in that video do you know what i mean like i just talked about um the story, the stupid fucking mouse story, and just how it made me feel and all, and it was just like, I don't know, it went well, so. I was like, why not talk about auditory hallucinations, because that's what I suffer with the most. I'm not, like, visual hallucinations, I get more, like I said, like, episodes, like, in a psychotic psychosis type episode, like, but I wouldn't even get them that, like, like those that I was talking about the shadows that wouldn't even be a big thing for me to get me like I've had proper like really intense visual um hallucinations and that wasn't really it so I don't know but my auditory ones it's a whole different vibe it's just <laughs> yeah so I started having the visual ones actually started first. They're auditory hallucinations. Auditory just means like hearing things, by the way. So like voices or things that you don't. You know the way sometimes you think like, oh my god, did my phone go off? And like that. Obviously that's not a hallucination. But you know what I mean? Just random noises. Um, yeah. So that that's kind of all started at the same time. I'm gonna say it started when I was twenty. So I'm twenty. I'm gonna be twenty four in May. So like nearly four years. Um, I'm not sure when I was twenty like when they started when I was 20 but anyway and I think this is pretty common like this story like they started mine actually started so there's two a lot of people either hear things outside their head as in like it looks like people genuine it looks like the sound is coming from outside or they hear them inside like what like you're conscious like if you're packing stuff and you're like oh I only need to pack our t-shirts or whatever or I always talk in third person it's on my head which people are like I don't even care um so mine started outside and actually changed to inside which is really weird because normally i think people actually start inside and they go to outside and that's a big thing like if you visit a psychiatrist or anything like they'll ask you inside or outside your head so mine we dabble like they change so but it's mostly inside now but when i hear them inside it would get to the point that i actually can't hear outside if that makes sense so I'd hear so many in my head that if someone's, if you were in front of me now saying, hey Emma, I'd see your mouth move, but I'd be like, what? Like, I can't hear anything. Like, you could blare a stereo and I'd be like, sitting there, like, I don't respond. If, if I was looking down someone's book, I wouldn't look up, I can't hear. <coughs> I'm a famous burp in every video, I love that. Um, so, yeah, that all started, whatever. So I thought this video would be, I don't really want to do a whole, like I said before, trip down memory lane thing of like me telling you my whole backstory like I'm not like again go listen to the podcast I'll link it down below actually this time because I didn't put it anywhere last time and me and Kira both discuss our whole like mental health journey up until this point and our history and everything but this video I wanted to do like what helps me in that thing and like what do you know what I mean like what some people this happens with when you're like what do I do so I thought I would do a little video on what helps me when that happens. Also, I'm so red, I'm sweating. So I, so usually, to give you like context, I hear voices. Usually, I don't hear like I was saying earlier about like a phone going off right, and it's usually voices. Usually angry, telling me things, being critical, uh, judging me sometimes narration so maybe like okay emma is getting off the train now emma is walking to o'connell street emma is like that like telling me as i go 
or then the judgment might come in with that so oh emma's walking but look at the way she's walked does it you know that kind of way but someone else's voice um some people get voices they know like maybe their mom or dad or sister some people get voices like that they know would recognize but don't know some people could have rihanna in their head telling them that they're walking somewhere i don't know the voices i don't know who they are i've never met them i don't know them i just made them up um anyway so the most i've ever had was probably the worst episode i've ever had in my life which was like 12 different people screaming screaming couldn't hear anything all that jazz so now that i've like gotten a bit better at it hopefully i like to think i have <laughs> um so if it starts at one or two i'm pretty chill like i'm pretty i could be out and no one would know in that kind of way so but if i'm at home i'll go without home because that's easiest um at home i start with music and i don't do music through headphones because i find it's too personal almost like the music's like on my body if that makes sense so music through like a speaker and a stereo and i don't even start really loud because i like having the option to go further to turn it up more so i'd be like okay we're gonna listen to tunes but i put them on also music that i already know really well because i find it easier because like music as well you're able to predict the next beat you're able to know what bit of the song you should be at so if you can't hear it you can even hum yourself do you know what i mean so if i know i'm at the chorus then i can go la la whatever even if i can't hear it i can almost like focus on the song so do that and then if it gets worse whatever i turn it up i turn it up i turn it up i don't interact at this point i don't do anything i just keep turning it up until you can probably literally hear my tunes next door like sorry neighbors but yeah um so blare that and then if that doesn't work i also don't i like i'm a very visual person so i like to do things but i don't like close my eyes really because i find it's worse because if there's people inside my head and then i can't see anything it's just mm, 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 it's awful like so okay start with music i do that <coughs> Love that. and then i also so yeah visual things so i will like read a book i'll do something i find it kind of hard to read obviously if people are screaming at you inside your brain it's really hard to read but it's nice because even if i get to a page i'm like yeah that was great blah 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 i also like to do things that like calm me or make me feel good like i love cleaning i love organizing so i'll clean my room i'll put things away whatever sometimes obviously it depends what way your voices work like voices can get pissed off if you don't interact they can be like what are you doing they can like anger them or trigger you more so sometimes i will just go and sit in a mirror and be like hey emma what's up like how are you and just like talk to myself but not the voice if that makes sense and just interact with me and be like hey i know i'm not going on right now but like do you want to go fold some laundry do you want to go on a walk what do you want to do do you want to hang out with someone like let's just and because i just focus on myself that can like dial them back a bit also if you're out I actually got this tip from I can't remember some mental health person told me um if you're out and it happens and you're freaking out and you're you know just starting to it's getting bad because a lot of the time mine I should say are kind of linked with like paranoia so if I'm out and I hear something I'm probably not going to trust everyone who I'm with and stuff or whatever do you get me and then it's really hard for people who I'm with to communicate with me because I can't hear them and then people are trying to touch me and I'm like don't fucking touch me like get away so um a lot of times i say i'm out and i'm shopping doing something i'll be like okay these people are talking to me i'm not going to interact with you until 6 p.m if i know i'm going to be home by five and i'll be like you can voice all you want but i'm not i'm going to ignore you and i'm not going to like freak out or do anything until 6 p.m if you want to come back at six i will talk to you then and this might sound so crazy i remember the person telling me this and i was like are you for real like are you fucking serious do you think i'm gonna like talk to myself like the voices in my head and be like come back in at six like really but honestly sometimes it fucking works because like when you think about it it's just your brain it's you do you know what i mean like it's a part of you that comes into your head so you're literally just addressing that part and like facing it and being like look no time right now but like feel free to come back we'll deal with it because obviously ignoring things isn't good do you know what i mean and everyone always says like the distraction can be a tool but you have to know that you're doing it, if that makes sense like don't just use distraction all the time and push your problems to the back of your head because that's not going to solve anything um so i like doing that sometimes i think the thing that makes it worse i find is not telling people like telling people i know the last video i was like mm, people but like if you're in a group and you don't tell people and at half six they start 
suddenly it's half eight and you're like in a corner crying and you're, you know like having a full-blown thing um you need to tell people like it's really really has to be done it really makes a big difference also something that like me and um my best friend kira and my parents and stuff do is we have like a code uh one of my friends actually taught me this is really really helpful so if i kind of go into an episode where i'm starting not to trust people and i might think someone is someone else you're not you you're pretending to be you i don't trust you don't touch me blah blah so we have like a code so i'll just make one up so you could be like okay so my name's emma roach and my middle name's Catherine, and you do like a kind of code thing so i could be like what's my middle name and they'll say kathy and i'll be like no that's wrong and they'll go i know because it's Catherine, and then i know that they really know and it's like i know that they're the real person that's actually really helpful if you ever have like any kind of psychosis or something or you think that someone's not who they are it like proves because you taught them to code when you were like sober i call being sober it's not you know what i mean uh when you were well and you know then that that's definitely them because they've like passed the test if you get me that's actually a really good one because sometimes you know i'm at being, being written and my mom be like it's me because blah 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 we'll do the code and kira will be like blah blah like okay right i believe you because now you've proved yourself if that makes sense and so that's a really good one um i mean also like in scenarios like i have medication and stuff so i would take medication just kind of not knock myself out that's what, but like uh anti-anxiety meds agitation meds stuff like that um to like relax my brain and give it a break and like kind of bring me back down to reality and um, they work but yeah it's really daunting and really horrible like if someone's watching this who maybe gets them and hasn't done anything about it like i feel your pain it's the worst and you don't want to tell anyone or maybe they're threatening you you know if you tell anyone but that's like, just fucking awful it's literally the worst thing like i 100 percent and i know it's horrible and it's awful and then you go through a whole thing about like diagnosis someone tells you one thing someone tells you another thing it's just like yeah i feel your pain <laughs> um but a lot of the time i try not to satisfy also if any demands are being made because I feel like that just puts me in the back seat and I'm not driving anymore, if that makes sense. So if a voice is like, okay, you got to do this one in 10 minutes, do this or whatever, blah, blah, I don't. I'm like, no, fuck no. And I know obviously people are like, oh, that's easier said than done, 100%. For like, I'm going to say a solid two years, I did everything they said. No matter what, if I was out, if it was something weird, if it made me look like crazy, like in public or like I did it, it didn't matter. But, um... I think that's part that's how I know I'm like getting better because I know now that I don't have to do everything and I can prove to myself that if I don't do the task that's asked of me that nothing will happen nothing will come of it you get me so like oh you better do this or your mom's gonna die and then you're freaking out you're like oh fuck but if you don't do it like she's still downstairs having grand old time you know what I mean like she's fine so okay I also have it's probably so weird but i have like this little like pack of stuff that i have like in a little folder that i keep in my graph so like if something's happening if someone's freaking out or something my parents can just like grab the folder and be like cool what do we do like obviously they used to put um yeah it's kind of nice it's just like stuff from online like little like pdf of stuff you can do one thing that i actually love love doing is singing and singing i think part of it might be the breathing of it like if you're taking like really deep intakes of breath you're like controlling your breathing and everything and like calming yourself down um and also when i said about earlier about not being able to hear anything like outside i don't just not speak to anyone i, I just text people or write things down because i'm still communicating because i'm not just gonna like lock myself off from everyone and just wait for it to pass like um so yeah no i do that a lot also having a really big nap is a big one like having i like sleeping off is literally the best thing you can do like the same amount do you know what i mean if you sleep it off it's gonna be gone you like so i a big fan of that and ow <laughs> also another thing you can do um it depends on if you're in therapy like what they tell you to do and stuff but if you keep it it's kind of like a diary but like if you write down things they say or re record yourself saying what they say and if you like play it back loads like say someone's telling you you're ugly like six times a day and then you're crying and you're like i'm so ugly blah 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 if you just hear that over and over it's eventually not gonna 
do much anymore because it's just a voice saying it to get me. If that makes sense, so the voice would be like, oh, you're ugly, you're ugly, you're ugly, if you just keep reading it. This sounds stupid because it sounds like I'm saying for you to brainwash yourself, telling you you're ugly. That's not what I'm trying to do. The whole purpose is that, like, it won't have the shock factor anymore. The voice won't have the power over you of saying that message. You're just going to be like, yeah, whatever, kill all of you, like, good one, pal, like, jog on, do you know what I mean? So, yeah, those are things that help me. Yeah, I also find that I need to do a little check when things like this happen. So, like... If it's early and maybe just one or two voices are there but they're really not leaving and it's like 40 minutes in and I think it's going to get worse. I do a little check. I'm like, okay, have I eaten today? Do I need to eat? I'm diabetic. So like, do I need insulin? Do I need my sugars? Like, I do like a body thing because like, you know, voices often come from stress and trigger things or, you know, maybe I'm like, did I watch a weird fucking movie that upset me last night? Did I do, you know, I, need, I do all the things. So I'm like, okay, do I need sleep? Do I need to fucking eat my vitamins? Do I need food? You know, like, do I need to go talk to someone? Blah, blah, blah. Do I need to check in? You know, maybe I'm like, maybe I just need a shower. Maybe a shower would chill me out right now. Just, like, do a little check. Do you know what kind of way? And also, another one is, like, um, if you find comfort in small things, if that makes sense. So, like, sometimes if I'm out and then I hear the voices and I immediately go from, like, a 1 to, like, a 15 and I'm, like, panic fucking stations and, like, fucking that's it boys get me an ambulance i'm gone like just freak out it's actually nice to just like take a minute and be like okay this isn't the end of the fucking world and then just like sometimes i go through my bag and i'm like cool i have my phone my phone has enough battery in it have like my charger have my keys how much money's in my account blah, blah blah have all that oh what did i do today when shopping got that got that that's great and just reward yourself for tiny things. You know, kind of way. I had breakfast today, unreal, have my keys, didn't lose them when I was out freaking out about voices that are blah blah blah. Had my train ticket and just like and then the voices are even like, you know, they're there like rrr, and you're like, sorry, hon, checking if I have my keys, take a minute, like fuck off. So yeah, these are my <laughs> weird I feel like people are gonna watch them like what? But these are my techniques that fucking help me that I've crafted over nearly four years of having voices and yeah i feel like also with every like episode that you like should go over with your doctor psychiatrist therapist counselor and reflect any triggers because triggers are a big thing once you like figure them out it's like grand just like fucking scoot around those don't go near them that's fine but um also not just triggers but like what helped what didn't help blah blah, blah. and then like you know after like however many times and you can be like, oh cool, that definitely doesn't fucking help. Get that away from me, don't do that. And then you know, and it becomes easier and easier. I mean, it never gets easy, easy, but you know, it helps. Like, So yeah, those are my tips and tricks, if you will. Um, I don't know, they're not going to help everyone. Obviously, everyone's fucking different. Everyone hears different shit. Everyone deals with it differently. Someone else might just, I don't know, eat a fucking banana and be grand for next three months I don't know like it depends but that's usually what helps me and also not beating yourself up over it because I find when I have really long episodes that last for like two days I freak out more I'm like it's day fucking two you know I've slept for like 13 hours they're still there blah 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 I'm waking up are you serious another thing and it just prolongs it like don't you know what I mean there's no need for me to feel shit so what if it's day two take a day off who cares like it doesn't you know that kind of way or also being like i don't know if self-deprecating is the word but like oh my god i have to miss work i can't miss work how can i miss work blah 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 it's like you need to miss work and your body is telling you you need to miss work so just leave it there's no point you feel like an arsehole for missing work it's just funny how people like and this applies to everything like physically mentally like you know if someone else came to you with this problem and they were like oh my god work you'd be like are you for real fucking miss work like are you joking me but when it's yourself you can never you know you're in the mirror like oh my god blah, blah. like no when it's yourself like take a day off it's fine so yeah i don't know if you have auditory hallucinations tell whoever tell your parents gp whatever i started who did I tell? I think I told my yeah, I told my parents and then I was attending like a psychiatrist regularly so went through that and then just went to kind of specialist people like went to different doctors got different um, opinions about it 
yeah, I think Terry Pimp, you're talking about it, exploring it, not being afraid of it. Like, like I only really started doing work on it a good two years after it happened. Like, I really couldn't face it. And I really found it really, really difficult to, like, talk about it and connect with it in, in therapy, even if just one other person in the room. I really couldn't. I was getting told awful things. I was hearing horrible things. I was, I would be in tears, like, even thinking about it, like... So, like, I'm not saying it's going to be easy, but it, like, thank God I spoke about it because I honestly wouldn't know what I'd be like at this point if I didn't. Um, medication does help a bit. I should add that in, I feel. Yeah, meds do help. I mean, I'm not reliant on them, as in, like, they don't sort out everything, but I'm definitely, like, yeah, need meds, that's fine. Well, yeah, that's what helps me. I don't know. Repeat myself. I don't know if it's going to help everybody, but that's what I do. I'm trying to think I do anything else. Yeah, I don't think I do, and just, yeah, just chill out, fucking sit down. Sometimes if I'm out, and again, in town, see, if I'm in somewhere, that's when it's like, you freak out, because you can't hear anyone. People are talking, you're looking, you're like, I can't hear anything. Uh, just, like, the thing I also like to do to make it not obvious if I'm in, like, a crowd, um, like, if I'm with people, I want to just go for a smoke to have a minute to myself. It's kind of like, do you know when you have earphones in and it's like, you know, the old woman in the movie and she has like earphones in and she's there like, what? Like screaming because she doesn't know she's raising her voice. I talk really quiet on purpose because if I can't hear anything outside and I'm like, I'm going for a smoke. People will be like, why are you shouting? Like, are you all right? So I'll just be like, oh yeah, like I'm going for a smoke. People are like, oh, I'm just for Then I know to go up a bit if they're like, like I'm going for a smoke and then it seems like normal or like, do you know what I mean? So yeah, that's what... I usually do and then go for a smoke chill out whatever look at the sky come back in grand um so yeah that's what I do I hope oh my god I'm so red I love this my hair is so greasy I hope this video will help somebody or something I don't know um I got a lot of good support in my last video so thank you for that because I was fucking shitting it putting it up I was so scared so I appreciate that loads. Yeah, my strongest advice would just be go something like a lot like I know in the other video I talk about people judging and that, but that's a lot of people who don't have experience with it. So if you actually go to like a, men a mental health professional, they're they're not gonna be like, Whoa, Stacy, you fucking hear shit, that's fucked. They're gonna be like, Okay, cool, like what, like let's do it. I'm not gonna judge you. Even a GP, they're not gonna be like, Okay, like right, so now they're gonna be like, Yeah, cool, what's up? Like it's it's not gonna be like that, because that's what I thought. Because, you know, I'd be telling friends and they'd be there, or, like, telling someone, they'd be like, and then I'd be, like, going to the GP sweat and being like, oh, my God, he's going to, like, freak out. But he'd be there, like, yeah, cool, whatever, you're, like, the fifth person today, do you know what I mean? Like, so, it's fine. So, my advice would be deal with it because it makes it easier in the long run. So, yeah, thank you if you've made it this far to the end of the video. Fair play. Um, yeah, I don't really know what else to say. Well, I can subscribe. <laughs> Um, but yeah, thank you.